Hello once again, Greg here. Well, it's food review time once again, and today I'm back at McDonald's. Like I said yesterday, I tried the Palmy Burger. Oh, mate, did I enjoy it? Woo, man, that was good. But they also have another one in the chicken range, the McSpicy, or the Spicy Burger. So I'm going to go and grab one of those today and see if it is as good as that Palmy Burger was. People are saying it's one of the best burgers they've had. Tell you what, if it's any better than that palmy burger, mate, I'll be all over it. So how about we whip on in and go and get one? Let's do it. <laughs> Alrighty, well, here we go, the McSpicy meal. This was $8.60 today. And plus I even got the chicken salt uh, for the shaker fries. But no, yesterday they said it was 50 cents. But this time they didn't charge me and, uh, well, it was uh, 30 cents cheaper than yesterday. Who knows, mate? Who knows? Anyway, I'm excited. Let's crack it open. All right, so once again, thanks for all those suggestions yesterday of how to stop my drink from falling over. One day I'll save one of those uh, car, cup holder things. But, right, well, here's the chips just as packed as they were yesterday oh here's the um, chicken salt shaker fries satchel and in here here we go the chicken salt so I'll, I'll do that soon but here we have it the chicken mixed spicy let's crack it open Da, 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 da. Da. Whoa! Well, that's much smaller than yesterday. Yesterday I had the big brioche bun and oh, mate, it was big burger. This is just like a junior burger size. <sighs> So what do we got here? A sesame seed bun today. Right, right. Looks like some mayonnaise and some lettuce. Okay. And, well, here's uh, the piece of chicken here. Oh, isn't this supposed to be like a spicy sauce or something? Or is it all the spice in the chicken? I could have sworn in the photos there was like a red sauce or something. Maybe I was just thinking that like in my mind just thinking well if it's spicy it's going to have a red spicy sauce but well this doesn't hmm interesting how about i start off making these uh, chicken shaker salt chicken salt fry things they already have salt on them so i'm guessing they're going to be pretty salty when you add the extra salt on now how do you get into this packet Do, is there a little tear thing oh there's something there Oh, it looks nice and powdery. Oh, yes. This is exactly how you want chicken salt. Like a fine dust. You could shove it up your nose through a straw. Okay. Let's pour it over there. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's lots of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, now we're talking. Mm -mm. Let's just try this gold dust. Mmm. Mmm. Classic chicken salt taste. Nice and fine, nice and chickeny too. Mmm, yum. Well, get those chips nicely coated in the chicken salt. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Nice and salty. Mmm. 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 Nice and chickeny too. Mmm. That's pretty good. Mmm. It was supposed to cost an extra 50 cents, but I didn't pay for it, so. I hope it dies! Mmm. Oh. Oh. Well, wouldn't it go? Don't waste one. Oh, the mouse can have it. 
Anyway, let's try this burger. So, there's no chilli sauce on this. Right, yeah, well, I'm sure there should have been. So it must be in the coating of this chicken that's the real spicy bit. And it is. Mmm. Wow. Boy. That has got some real spicy kick to it. Oh, mate. Woo. Oh. As soon as it starts traveling down your throat, it starts burning it. I think it's taken some layers of skin off too on its way down just quietly. Mmm. It has got a nice flavor though. And it's got a nice bit of chicken there. I mean, it's not a small piece of chicken. It's a pretty large piece. But you can just see in the coating there, just like the spiciness in there. It's definitely a different color. It's got a orangey reddish tinge for that nice hot and spicy seasoning or flavoring that they put on it. And I'll tell you what, it is spicy too. And I mean, I'm a spice person and that has got a real kick to it. I think it's a real nice blend actually it's a it's a nice perfect blend of spice but if you if you're not into spice then you will not like this it is it is actually even for me it's really warming the tongue and it burns the throat so it's got some real kick to it anyway let's go Mm-hmm. Oh. Well. That's pretty nice. That mayo sort of takes some of that heat away, but it's a nice tasting mayo that's on there. The lettuce sort of cools things down a little bit too. Um well, yeah. It's not too bad. I reckon some cheese might have cooled things down even a little bit more. Mmm. Uh, but the chicken inside, I mean, it looks pretty real to me. Even though in the other videos, people are saying it's not. Well, it looks real to me. And it tastes like a proper piece of breast, too. It's such a simple burger, though, isn't it? It's got, like, what, four ingredients? <laughs> There's not much to it. Uh, maybe that's why it was a little bit cheaper than the one yesterday. The one yesterday was much bigger. Had cheese. Had bacon. Um... The funny thing was, it had so much more, but it only cost a little bit more, so... Hmm, unusual. This has got hardly anything on it, and it still costs about the same. Hmm. And that spice seems to be like a cayenne red chili sort of spice taste as well. Seems more like a South American spicy than, say, an Asian spicy. It's pretty good and I am enjoying it. But what score would I give it out of 10? Well, price-wise, $8.60 for the drink, chips and a burger. Mate, you can't go past that for price. Flavour-wise, well, I mean, the flavour of this burger is pretty good. I'm enjoying it, and, um, well, it is very spicy. It just feels like it could have had some, maybe, something else on it, like a piece of cheese. Now, even a piece of tomato might have gone damn well. It's a very, very basic burger for what you're paying for. But the flavour of it is really nice, and um, I am enjoying it. Uh, would it be something I'd get again, though? Well, yeah, possibly. Yeah, why not? It's a little bit small and, well, there's not much to it, though. How about this drink? Yep. That really helps with the uh, spiciness of the burger, too. These chicken chole chips are pretty good. Mm. Yeah. yeah. That's still pretty good. So for my all over value, all over flavour, all over taste, all over everything score, for the mixed spicy meal deal, I'm giving it. Ah! Peekaboo! A 7.87675747372717777C-35H out of 10.
Out of the palmy and the McSpicy, well, I think I much prefer the palmy over this one. It's got so many more ingredients and uh, the, the flavour of that was fantastic, I thought. And Well, it's a bigger burger and everything's bigger about it and only costs a little bit more. But this is nice and if you're into really spicy food, I reckon you'll really enjoy this because it is really spicy. It seems like after a while you sort of get used to it and uh, the spiciness sort of just sort of dissipates amongst all the other flavours of the other foods. But yeah, really worth giving a go I reckon if you're into spice and well, get the shaker fries with the chicken salt too, see what you reckon about those. Anyway, I'm going to see you finish this off and look at this Jersey Mike's store and wonder if they're ever going to open back up again. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time I review something. See you then. Ooh, yeah.